So guys, <laughs> yeah, I'm going out with my dog. You see here. She's cute. Get off. Get up. Hey. Hey there. Hey. Then they come now. Yeah. So yeah, I haven't made that many videos, but I I thought about just show you guys a little bit around and uh, what you just show you a little bit uh, how I have it and how the surrounding area looks like and it's quite late but I have a certain feeling when you look in the night and when it snows still yeah and the weather is kind of weird here in Sweden for at the moment because yeah this is snowing it's not still lower hey, look at that no good not having a walk with my dog and show you the area yeah it's quite dark for my camera camera on my phone look how beautiful it looks I could get out yeah good luck just just walking on my dog here Having a little quick walk with her. She needs going peeing and that. Can I go kiss her? So she only understands Swedish. <laughs> because, yeah, Swedish, my language too, in Sweden, of course. Or Svenska, like we say it. And uh, we, when you say Sweden, as a country, we say Sverige because it just feels more right and it's to have a certain cling to it. What can you do, Kiara? Yeah, let's illuminate the night time. It's very cloudy. You know. I don't know if you can see it or not. Perhaps or perhaps not. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll go kiss her. So, I hope you guys and girls are having a good time with all that. Because I'm fine. And I possibly will post more Minecraft video, one at least, tomorrow perhaps, maybe later, I'm not sure, but soon at least. And uh, yeah, so I'll be mostly doing other stuff, like relaxing and all that. And uh, just showing you guys a little bit around here, how I'm having it and living close to a kind of fort but you can't see it because it, there's no light here and <laughs> if I had the light because you can't see that tree right over there it's, it's, it's literally invisible for you how do I turn that light on I have no idea how I turn the phone's light you should be able to but I'm not sure how yeah you can't see my dog either I don't even know if you see my face right now. Maybe you do, or maybe you're not. I don't know. But, yeah. So I don't know if I'm gonna stop it here. Or just move walking a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah, it's extremely dark here. If only I had night vision <laughs> on my phone, then you could see a lot better. Uh, so you possibly don't see me right now. And all that. <sighs> the feeling when you are just walking in the night. Because it's like, uh, what is it, uh, 10 p.m. here right now. <coughs> so, yeah. And, uh, damn. It's a little bit chilly, but not that cold. Because I don't even have gloves on me. 
and there's a road. <laughs> I have walked this road for like many years, Mo mostly here. Majority of the time uh, I walk this exact road for like, uh, what is it now? Uh, like six, seven years. Oh, that come seven? Uh, let me see. Fem, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, six or yeah, roughly right. Six. Or, yeah, around seven years. And all that. And uh, listen. It's so quiet. <laughs> it's like definitely quiet. Like everybody's dead here in Sweden, you know, because uh, we are not that many. We're just like uh, around the 10 million people. Yeah. And somewhere in China, they have like a, a small town with like 20 million or something like that. So they just view Sweden as uh, like a small town or something like that. Because I have a teacher who have a company there in China that's producing, um, what is it called, varma pumpa. I'm not sure, like hot pumps that you use to convert the water to heat and all that. Yeah. <laughs> Look, yeah. So yeah. Look at this road. <laughs> the eyesight is a lot better than the camera. Because I actually see in the night where you don't see anything. It's pitch black for you right here. But I see like a lot further away. I don't know why it does that with the camera. And if you're wondering what kind of phone I use, it's the iPhone 4. Yeah, I don't use the newest latest model. I just use the phone. If it works, it works. And an iPhone is it kind of useful to have a touch phone because then you have easily your contacts and all that. It's a lot easier. And I don't play games on my phone, no. <laughs> Many people does that, but I don't. Plus I don't know how to get games. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm very bad with that kind of stuff. But if you look I just really love Sweden is very underrated because many people says it's like the greatest place I'm very beautiful yes it's beautiful but it's not the greatest place there are possibly places that are a lot better but not many but you should not just over some people just go here because we have good healthcare and you just get money when you're immigrants and all that. I think they like just living on the phones of the actually Swedish people that works and all that. But a lot of the immigrants that actually comes here have a, a lot worse. They come from a war-torn war country and trying to make a change. But do you know the majority of the thing that they do wrong is they don't change the way they live. They still live the, like different. They like think they can actually do what the fuck they want. But that's not the way. Yes, Sweden is a free country. You can do like what you want, but you should not waste a second ability, a second chance in life and do something stupid and just make the Swedish people angry and yeah, ends up with some houses burning down and the majority of the things that happen in Sweden is mostly between immigrants that can't work together and all that. <coughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, I, I know I'm speaking a little bit shit here, but... Uh, but I just, I just letting it out, cause uh, somebody have to tell it. Cause we Swedes, we have a healthy environment. I have met a few kids, but what they actually do right, you have to. When you, my view, when you immigrants to a different country, you should get in their cult culture. 
don't try to change it. Don't uh, like try to convince people, no, have it like this or having it like that. Because when you come to a country, you should at least try very hard to learn the language, the native language. It becomes a lot more easier for yourself than just keep to like English. So yes, majority of the time you can't speak English in Sweden because majority of the Swedish people speak English, but still you should still learn the native language of the country. And even if you go on vacation here, like maybe you just think you should at least try to speak Swedish because that gives us some kind of respect for you and and you should not give up. You could just we could like speaking English and you can speak in Swedish or maybe we just speak in Swedish to see how you want it because we Swedes we understand very well and we're just like everybody else. And damn and that's dark. <laughs> oh so you won't see my face then. <coughs> mm. <coughs> yeah and you won't see the the tree over there, but yeah. <sighs> Eleven minutes already. Yeah, just getting it all out. Do you hear that? It's definitely quiet. Maybe a car in the distance. <laughs> and this is basically how I live. Close to a forest, close to a, a lake over, for down away there. And uh, yeah. <coughs> yeah, you're spitting out the uh, things on my face. And yeah, now I'm using my right hand, <laughs> so maybe not be as useful. Hello, Kiara. <laughs> oh, she definitely don't love. <laughs> she doesn't like the camera, <laughs> cause uh, always when my uh, sister tried to get a good shot on her, she always like turn away or just uh, blinking, closing her eyes. I don't know why, <laughs> but she does that. <sighs> Yeah, so you basically understand what I try to say and all that. And just having a small walk with my doggy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, oh damn. Oh, walking you know, quite a bit here. So, so I think that's it, and uh, I hope you guys having a good time, and see you later. Bye.